I sure make for a picturesque landscape. I've got rejection stuck under my fingernails, abandonment sitting at the back of my throat, deny already on the tip of my tongue. I've got farewells making their way across my lungs. I've got silence tattooed all over my ribs, making it impossible to explore this body without stumbling upon it. And even though you were warned from the start, if you want, intrepid traveler, you could still act surprised when you're the one to make that discovery. We can still call you the first colonizer of my virgin silent valleys. You can plant your flag and impose your strange language, decide this skin is mine simply because it looked empty when I found it, or because I won when I fought myself for it. When you got here, no one resisted you because our days as a violent people are long gone. All these volcanoes ran dry a long time ago, back when we grew tired from the melody of war, retired from fighting lava, and instead decided to let stillness be the one to drown us. I did used to love loud, though. And violent. It was such a burning spectacle, but we don't talk about that anymore. In fact, now we don't talk at all, so by all means, march in with your unnecessary chatter, cover with noise every single inch, move in with your army of deafening screams, litter the place with sound souvenirs, but careful. If you civilize with your endless sentences this sacred wilderness, if you cut down trees and set up settlements, if you play your music to my star-ridden skies, make them learn it by heart, if you disturb the peace I've skillfully grown inside, don't you ever dare grow quiet. Don't make me go back. The second I hear silence, I'll start panicking. Having flashbacks in the space between a word and the next and flashbacks might start sounding a little too much like prophecies and the future of my beloved home looking a little too much like it's past and this cycle might be natural but it's pretty damn exhausting so cautious. We are not a violent people anymore. But don't bring what you can't gift. Offer only what you can give or suffer the consequences, disappearing silently into the mist.